Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ominous and today I will do the top 10 Weezer songs once more. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is mainly because I I was just about to upload the videos and then I realized that the Weezer video was only 22 seconds so apparently it didn't upload, it didn't uh, fucking, what's the word, it didn't import so I have to react to it again. Um, yeah, that is kind of annoying honestly because I just wanted, you know, to have a little bit of me time but I guess, you know, I guess. Let's do it again for all those devoted Weezer fans out there. And uh, myself too, because you know I love the band, but I've already seen the video, so you know, eh. Still like to do it though, but still, it's a bit annoying. If you're wondering if I want you to, I want you to. Being uncool before it was cool to be uncool. That's what these guys did best. Oh, uh, what did I say in the last video? Well, Good songs of bad albums, one that one. If you're wondering. Literally. It is so ironic I didn't address this in the last video or in the deleted video. Or the video never came to be, I believe. It just got lost in files. Or I deleted it, I don't fucking know. Um, What's the thing? What's the fucking thing? It is funny how what Mojo says, uh, war songs about Beverly Love and Beverly Hills is on there. And then they're saying, oh, the top 10 best Weezer songs and Beverly Hills is on there. Like, make up your mind, Watch Mojo. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Another make believe song. Not a huge fan of it all. Number 10, Pink Triangle. Yeah, great song. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, the, pretty much 90% of this list is blue Pinkerton, so... <laughs> there you go. album is always a difficult one, especially if your first album was as good as Weezer's. However, Pinkerton proved another hit for Weezer the was so good in the 90s. And with tracks like this, can you wonder? Pink Triangle is an autobiographical effort from frontman Rivers Cuomo, detailing a particular experience of his while at Harvard. met a girl who he dreamed of marrying, but she donned a pink triangle, a symbol of gay pride. Rivers was crushed, but his song is blessed. Number nine, Adorable. In the sun. There's one bad lyric on the pink triangle though. Um, of course it didn't let us hear that, but uh, everyone's a little queer, why can't you be a little straight? Like, what? Oh, there's a song, like, don't get me wrong, Pinkerton is a great album, but some of those lyrics on that album, like, fuck's sake. You could, you could already see that the band was shattering at that point, so. One of the band's I'm just saying. successful songs outside their native US. There is a cleaner sound to Island in the Sun, which has kept it in mainstream culture since its release. And it makes me feel so good, I can't control my brain. The song was not billed as a definite inclusion on the Green Album, but we're mighty glad it made the cut. Rock music is rarely this relaxed as the record showcases the alternative user sound. And has us feeling fine to the point of cognitive confusion as well. Must control brain. Uh, my name is Jonas. Pretty much my favorite Perfect. song. My name is Jonas. My name is Jonas. I'm carrying the 
record well known to mainstream listeners. My Name is Jonas was recorded for the band's debut album and was resurrected in 2007 for the popular video game Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Fresh out of Such a kick ass song, man. This is my number one writer. If, if I would make if I would ever make a top 10 Weezer songs list, this is my number one writer. My name is Joe Uh in the garage. This song is so groovy, I love it. And having signed with Geffen Records, <coughs> this was an image definer for Weezer. The band is known for Weezer is a nerdy band. That's what they were meant to be. The sound is just so perfect, man. Every element is in place. Like, don't get me wrong, My Name is Jones is still my favorite, but this song right there, this is, this is right up there, this is my number two. Um, number Only in Dreams, what an amazing song. Number six, Only in Dreams. The longest Weezer song too, uh, seven, eight minutes or something, so. A Weezer epic. Orgasmic. The lyrics are fairly simple. Orgasm. The record leaves us awestruck. Breaking down in two thousand pieces. Me and me. A favorite within Weezer's diehard following. It isn't difficult to see why. By the end of this song and this album, the world just seems a little bit better. Uh, next song, Across the Sea. Yeah, I know, I've already seen the video. This song is creepy as fuck, honestly. Across the Sea. At Japan. I thought he said fam. I'm looking for a Nine Inch Nails t-shirt and they gave me a fucking disturbed shirt, uh, eBay for that matter. Fuck off eBay. Fuck off. Of a letter from a Japanese fan. This song is about how her words helped him during a depressive period. Song details. The mystery is part of its magic. 
Turkey, if you bring home the bacon, like, nah. I love the album, but those are some retarded lyrics, mate. He's making music to avoid direct expression. I believe I said in the original uh, reaction, um, I still love the record, and I usually don't really pay attention to lyrics, but if if your lyrics are such a short term, then I can't ignore them, you know? Fuck sake. We want Rivers happy, but we're not complaining too much with records like this. <laughs> Uh, Buddy Holly. Number two, Buddy Holly. Arguably the band's most well-known record, Buddy Holly was not only a commercial success, but was also a fan favorite. Lyrically inspired by an instance in which the other members of Weezer were making fun of Cuomo's friend, the chorus had originally referenced Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. Buddy and Mary made the cut, though, for a song accompanied by an iconic video. The Spike Jones creation superimposes the band onto a Happy Day set, an appropriate stage for an awesomely uplifting tune. I love this rhythm part right there, where they just riff out. Before we unveil our uh, hashtag, here are a few honorable mentions. Uh, the good life, I'm, I'm kind of uh, distracted right now. Was there another song before that? Oh yeah, pork and beans. The good life. Uh, the world has turned and left me here.
Number one, say it ain't so. Somebody's hiding down in my aim. The last single to be released off the Blue Album. It's our pick for first spot. This record is all-conquering in terms of its scope, its style, its emotion, and its attitude. A stark look at alcoholism and its trickle-down effect within a family. Cuomo is the son who's drowning in the flood. The lyrics put to a relaxed beat and the intensity of the choruses get us every time. But then, the bridge. It's angst-ridden and incredible. It's anxiety, anger, determination, and character. Sure fire winner. Yeah, yeah. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Weezer song? <coughs> For more modern rock and top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Yeah, I didn't have a lot to say because uh, <coughs> I already had seen the video, so I didn't really have a lot to add. Which is kind of a shame, honestly, because I thought that video was, you know, better than this one because I rarely reacted to it. I was ju just looking at Daft Punk and Nine Inch Nails shirt, so there we go. Hill of uh, Half of Blue makes an appearance and no Beverly Hills or Red to, to be found. I like this list, not half, not half bad. But come on, not one track from Ewbait? Meh. Great, uh, great comment. Uh, from uh, Crash the Rock Critics, there we go. The most underrated band. That's uh, kind of questionable, I guess. Lol, you managed to include three of my favorite bands in your comments. What are you on about? I don't know. Love How Watch Mojo implied Pinkerton was a successful follow-up initially, LMAO. Yeah, even Watch Mojo knows that it was hated. More like Blue Alm and Pinkerton the list. Yeah, right. And Green. Well, yeah, those are the two best albums, pretty, pretty much. More like their only good albums. Wow. Well, the White Album, actually, that was pretty good. I like Ube too, good arm too. And for some reason I like most of Hurley. I, I think Hurley is underrated in my opinion. Definitely an improvement from the mediocrity before. You can say the, the dog shit, but sure. Melodroid anyone? Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I like that arm. Uh, babies are underrated. Agree, that one of the cool points is some mentioned to not include Beverly Hills, but they were very tired in their list of basically just the Blue Album and Pinkerton. Well, not really. If they can get a video out there, then they're happy. I loved Weezer from the minute I heard Buddy Holly. Yeah, me too. Love that song. Blue Album and Pinkerton are two of the greatest rock records ever created. Yeah, sure, sure. That's a rather subject subjective statement, and you should word, word it as such. Subjective statement, there we go. Fuck off. Yeah, listed in R Stones. Rolling Stones, I guess. Uh, I, I think what he is trying to say is that Blue was mentioned on the Rolling Stone list. And even Pinkerton was on, I believe, the greatest 90s records or something, and Blue wasn't on there. That was so weird. But on our 500 greatest albums list, Blue is on there, and Pinkerton is nowhere to be found. So even Rolling Stone doesn't know what they're on about, so fuck them. 
say it in so introduce me to Weezer, so glad to see it number one. So it's Whitehall though, 10 out of 10. I believe this video came out in 2014, yeah, yeah. So, uh, eBay just came out and um, why didn't exist back then, so there you go. I got 360 likes though. No one is saying, oh, it wasn't, it didn't come out back then. No, no one is like that, retard. <laughs> if you had Windows 95, you should know who Weezer is. Uh, is sign W uh, is sign. Oh, that's actually a really good uh, sign right there. Yes. Next, that's actually pretty pretty clever. The best part about this list, there, uh, there's no Beverly Hills, Amen. The Red Album is highly underrated. It's okay, exactly, it's just alright. My name is Jonas, I love having songs about my name. That's an adorable profile picture, you do you NKS, NKS. Yes, 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 I've been a dark Weezer fan forever. Yes, 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 I really agree with your list. Although I hope to see either Server Wax America or Back to the Shack in at least uh, honorable mentions. Despite Back to the Shack only being a few months old, but oh well, I still love this. Cage uh, the Elephant Sauce. It's a newer band, I believe. I think Photograph was a little happier and different, but it wouldn't 